Welcome back to the Sports News Analysis YouTube channel, where I'm always breaking down the hot sports topics of the day. My name is Mike. Continuing the 2013 NFL draft coverage that I've been doing here the last couple weeks, uh, some news broke today. Eddie Lacy, the former standout running back from the University of Alabama, will not be able to participate in the scouting combine because of an injured hamstring. First, regarding Lacey's status, you know, I've heard some things saying this may hurt Lacey's draft status. I think he's so far and away the best running back prospect in this draft that I don't think missing the combine is going to hurt his stock. He's still, he did not commit that he'll even be ready for the Alabama Pro Day in March. But if he's able to compete in that pro day and able to work out during that pro day, I see him being the only real running back that's even worth maybe taking uh, in the first round of the upcoming draft. I think he's a notch above any other running back in this draft. I think what the injury does do and the fact that he can't perform at the combine in particular is it'll open a door for these other running backs in that second to third round range to try to solidify and make their stand for being the second running back in this draft. You know, being the second running back as opposed to the sixth or seventh is a big difference in draft slot. So I think you'll see these guys come out and really try to compete like heck for that second running back slot uh, heading into the draft. You're going to look at guys like a Gio Bernard from North Carolina, okay, a Joseph Randall from Oklahoma State, a Monty Ball from Wisconsin, a Stephen Taylor from Stanford, and maybe even a Jonathan Franklin from UCLA. You know, the last three of those guys, Taylor, Ball, and Franklin, big college football names, okay, slated currently as second to third round picks in the upcoming draft. You know, maybe they gain some momentum, have a good combine, have a good pro day, and sort of launch themselves uh, into that second round discussion. Right now, most boards actually have Bernard and Randall ranked ahead of those guys. So it'll be interesting to see how that that all that competition unfolds here at the draft at the running back position. You know, the running back's position is a position uh, in the NFL where mostly you're looking for a two-headed monster kind of attack. And I think any one of those guys I named could be a nice complement to a starting running back and eventually be consistent starting running backs in this in the NFL. So uh, I think that if Eddie Lacy uh, missing the scouting combine does anything, I think it allows, again, one of these guys to step to the forefront and basically say, look, I'm the number two guy heading into this draft. Um, and again, uh, we'll see how this plays out. Hopefully Eddie Lacy gets healthy and can compete in his pro day. But if you think about Lacey, you know, all people really need to do is watch his last two or three games on tape between the SEC championship game, the national championship game, and his overall running style and how good he was this year. Again, I don't think this affects Lacey that much missing the combine. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Who do you think is the number two running back in line right now uh, after Eddie Lacey? I happen to really like Stephen Taylor from Stanford, and I r like Randall as well from Oklahoma State. But what do you guys think uh, about where this running back class falls uh, in back of Eddie Lacey? Let me know. Let me know who you think kind of rises up at the combine and impresses people. Maybe someone I didn't even mention that you want to throw into the ring here. Leave me some comments on the YouTube on YouTube here. Um, I always respond. I love you know interacting about anything about NFL draft, NFL in general. Uh, be sure to subscribe to my channel. You subscribe, you get all my videos uploaded directly to your feed right for you when you log into YouTube here. Thanks again for listening, guys, and have a great night.